Asia. One that is compulsory because you're making up for Ramadan and one that is voluntary because you're doing the six in Shawwal. And some people have mentioned to me that they have heard you can do this. You can combine your, your, your fourth fasting in Ramadan that you've missed, legitimately of course, with the six in Shawwal so that you don't need to do them separately. If for example you've missed three days in Ramadan, you can simply do three days in Shawwal with the niyyah of Shawwal of fasting the six voluntary fasts as well as the fasts that you missed in Ramadan and then the other three days would make up the, the, the additional three for the six in Shawwal. So in effect you're only fasting six days. The answer is no, you cannot do that. And so the idea that this is permissible is wrong, it's incorrect. Why? Because to begin with, making up for the days that the person has missed in Ramadan is farad, it is wajib, this is compulsory. And fasting the six days of Shawwal, this is, this is nafil, voluntary. You cannot combine with the same niyyah, something that is compulsory and voluntary at the same time. This is why, this is exactly why you cannot pray the farad of dhuhr and intend it to be the sunnah before and after dhuhr either. Your niyyah has to be either fard or wajib or sunnah. You can't combine both. You cannot do that. Because each type of fasting is sort of separate. One is compulsory, you have to fast. The other is not compulsory, you choose to fast. So you're not allowed to do that. Furthermore, if a person were to do that, then this is a bit problematic if you, if you, if you look at the math side of things. Because in the end, at the end, you still are not fasting 36 or 35 days. You might only be fasting 30 days or less. And that would not be the equivalent of fasting the whole year if you multiply by 10. So, uh, you cannot combine these two fasts, those that you have to make up for Ramadan and those that you have to do in Shawwal or should do in Shawwal. The other question that arises as well, is whether or not a person should make up for the fast missed in Ramadan first and then fast the six days in Shawwal. And the logical uh, argument is that making up for what you have missed in Ramadan is compulsory. <coughs> Fasting the additional six days in Shawwal is voluntary. And logically it would seem that doing what is compulsory is more important than doing what is voluntary. Now, there is nothing wrong with this logical argument. What is wrong though with it is that there is no evidence within the Sunnah or the Qur'an for this. In fact, we have evidence to the contrary. You see, brothers and sisters, in as much as the six days of Shawwal are voluntary and not compulsory, they are still constrained by time. They are limited to the month of Shawwal, that's it. After Shawwal ends, that's it, you've missed it if you haven't done it. While making up for the fasting missed in Ramadan, in as much as it is still compulsory on the individual, it's wajib, it's a duty, the person still has a lot more time flexibility to make up for these days. So the six days of Shawwal are limited to just Shawwal, 30 days at most. And if you take out the day of Eid, it's 29, and if the month has 29 days, it's only 28 days. So 28 days you have, uh, uh, to make to do the six while making up for Ramadan you have until the next year now Imam Bukhari has told us in Sahih that the wives of the Prophet والسلام, and this is a hadith narrated by Aisha anha, that very often the wives of the Prophet والسلام, would not get time to make up for the fast that they have missed in Ramadan the year before until Sha'ban of the next year. In other words, until the month before the next Ramadan comes in. Almost a year. <clears throat> Al-Hafiz ibn Hajar, in commenting on this hadith in his book Fathul Bari, which is an explanation of Sahih al-Bukhari, he said that one of the reasons, because the Prophet والسلام, as is mentioned in the hadith in Bukhari, also used to fast, the month in which he used to fast the most, besides Ramadan, was Sha'ban. If you take out Ramadan from the picture, Sha'ban is the month he would fast the most. 
Not the whole month, but most of the days of Sha'ban. Ibn Hajar commented on, the, on, on why. Why is this so? And one of the reasons he gives is that this is the time, based on the hadith, that the wives of the Prophet ﷺ would make up for the fast that they had missed in Ramadan. And the Prophet ﷺ, in order to support them, he would fast with them. Because he didn't want not to be fasting, and his wives are fasting, and then they now have to prepare meals for him. So subhanAllah, he would show them his, his, his support, and his, his solidarity with them. It's not right for him to fast, but he would fast with them. This would encourage them, this would boost them, right? We all know this. When we fast in Ramadan, the spirit is different than if you try to make up after. It's a little bit more difficult. If the family does it together as well, it, it, it encourages you, right? The presence of your, the family members uh, acts, uh, acts as an as a encouragement. So we know from this that there is no time limit per se. Or, or the timeline for making up for Ramadan is not as restricted as the six days of Shawwal. So, if a person chooses to make up for the six days, to do the six days of Shawwal first, and then choose other days in the year, perhaps the winter time when the days are shorter and cooler, colder, to make up for the fast that they have missed in Ramadan, there's nothing wrong with this. If a person chooses to make up for Ramadan in Shawwal, and then do the six also in Shawwal. Alhamdulillah, there is nothing wrong with this either. There is nothing wrong with this. But we need to understand that it is not wajib per se to make up for Ramadan first before you do anything else that's nafil. And so it is not compulsory to make up in Shawwal before you do the six days of Shawwal. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us a lot of flexibility in terms of time in relation to making up for the fast that we've missed in Ramadan. But the six in Shawwal, like I mentioned, they're, they're, they're restricted somewhat because it has to be, they have to be done in the month of Shawwal. It's six days out of in the month of Shawwal, six days out of 29 or 28 days. So, so that is a lot more time restricted than uh, making up for the fast in Ramadan. So I hope that inshallah this will clarify the issue for us and hopefully will make it very easy for us. If you realize that you don't need to do make up Ramadan now, and you can wait. But you'll do the 6th of Shawwal now because Shawwal is just 30 days or 29 days. Hopefully this inshallah will make life a lot easier for many people. And if of course you are of the type who was, uh, you know, who are very diligent, and you want to do your fast that you've missed in Ramadan first, and then do the 6th in Shawwal, then Alhamdulillah as well. There is nothing wrong with that. But for anyone who chooses to delay making up their, their Ramadan fast, till a much later date, there is no sin or anything negative attached to, 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 to this individual. Because remember, the wives of the Prophet ﷺ would make up sometimes in Sha'ban of the new year, like one month before the next Ramadan comes in. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us. May He accept from us our, our prayers and our fasting and our du'as in the month of Ramadan. And may He help us to continue to seek, to, to stay close to Him and to get closer to Him uh, after Ramadan in the weeks and in the months ahead of us. And may He open up our hearts and minds so that we can understand the message that He has revealed, so that we would be inspired and motivated to live by this message.